Yeah. Drew, I, right. I guess I'll start. Go um, ahead. We haven't talked to you since Chris Laviano was a starter. What do you like about that decision, and what has he shown you since he became the starter? I, when the last time I was asked about that, uh, I made a, a reference to uh, the development that he's had post spring through summer, uh, and we. He was given the honor uh, and earned the honor from our weight room as an Iron Knight, which is a very, very, very high honor, the highest honor that we have in our weight room, um, and a testament to the amount of hard work and dedication uh, put in this summer in terms of uh, his body, but as also his commitment to the team. I think it kept going, I thought, through fall camp and his leadership, um, as well as his play on the field, uh, have tremendously improved. I was excited to see. Uh, the biggest thing that I've talked with him about is consistency. Will you be consistent every day? And uh, you know, earning that award from the weight room from Kenny Parker, which is not handed out easily, uh, was definitely a testament to uh, his consistency there. And then earning this job, uh, which was not given easily, um, was definitely also a, a testament to the amount of consistency that he has shown. Uh, he still got, you know, he's not perfect by any means. Uh, we still got a lot of improvement that's still left and another week of preparation for we play Washington. But uh, uh, for him, earning the job was uh, all about him not putting the ball in jeopardizing situations, consistent play and consistent leadership for our offense. When Chris Ash named him the starting quarterback, he said, obviously there's some things that he's going to have to change or some things that the playbook's going to have to change because it's not a perfect fit for the playbook. What kind of things, without giving away too many secrets, obviously, what kind of things, how, where is he in the playbook as far as how much can he do? I think the biggest misnomer that a lot of people have about the quote-unquote spread offense or spread formation offense is that the it's quarterback centric that he is the pass game, he is the run game, he is everything, and that is not the case in our offense. We believe in something called a distribution factor uh, where we want as many guys to touch the ball uh, as possible. If we look at the stat sheet at the end of the game, eight or nine people have uh, receptions, three or four people, five people have rushes. Uh, that's a good game for us in terms of our, our distribution numbers. Are we going to ask Chris Laviano to be the only person uh, that's going to make yards, make touchdowns, uh, create points? Absolutely not. So I think that uh, what is what that misnomer um, is not necessarily you know that he's not the Cam Newton uh, prototype uh, I've used that reference before it's just kind of an extreme one it makes the analogy easier to understand but uh, we're going to use him as a, as a game manager and uh, uh, somebody that can get the ball to playmakers in space. Coach what have you seen out of the backup competition between Zach and Gio? Both of them have uh, a, a very good understanding Zach and Gio both have a good understanding of what we're trying to do offensively they both uh, practice very hard. They both have uh, good leadership abilities. Uh, one of the things that I think that both of them need to have uh, is, like I talked about with Chris, is they have to be more consistent in day-to-day -day practices. Um, we have obviously not named the backup yet. Um, Hayden Reddick's the same way. He's right in there um, in terms of uh, what can they do every single day? Are, are the same mistakes going to keep showing up, uh, or is that continual improvement going to be there? Do you think there's a tremendous amount of excitement within the fan base to see what this offense looks like? I mean, are you excited yourself to show it to the people? Yeah, I'm pumped. I mean, we've been playing ourselves for a while, so it'll be exciting to play somebody else. But, uh, you know, I, I hope that, uh, you know, we want to play an exciting brand of football. Um, we want to, uh, you know, obviously be a little bit different than Rutgers has been in the past. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're very, we're very excited. Um, it's been a lot of fun being around our guys this fall camp. They've had a great fall camp. Uh, you guys have worked really, really hard. But uh, I will say that we have had a, a tremendous group of seniors that uh, have made this transition uh, a lot easier and, uh, to be honest with you, a lot of fun. So, uh, What will people see if this is a successful debut for, for you in this offense? Hopefully a win, right? Uh, the, uh, uh, for us, offensively, uh, you know, we're, we want to play the game fast. We want to manage the game, uh, though, according – we play the game from a team perspective first. Uh, in, in spread offense, I think everyone's like, hey, how many plays are you going to run this week? Uh, we don't keep that number. Uh, we, it, it depends on – what the, what's going on defensively, what's going on special teams-wise, uh, where we are. Maybe playing the game fast is not going to be our best advantage to uh, win or be successful offensively. So we're going to play the game at varying different tempos. Uh, we prefer to play a little bit uh, more up pace than others. Uh, we're going to be in more spread formations. Uh, we want to run the ball. We want to play action pass. And we want to spread it all over the field and make you defend both sidelines and both in, or only one end zone, but uh, the whole field deep. Uh, Drew, how did the other quarterbacks react to Chris?
being named the starter, and how have they reacted since then in practice and so on? You know, obviously there's always going to be some disappointment when it's not you. But uh, to a testament to those guys that they have uh, supported, uh, the, the unit has supported it, uh, supported the decision, and uh, they've gone back to work. You know, there's no, there's no promises. There's not, it's not a set in stone decision. So they've gone back to work to try and improve themselves uh, and maybe down the road possibly take that position. I think Chris, of all people, feels that pressure from, from the other three guys behind him that uh, at any one moment, you know, if he's, if he's not on his A game, that uh, the next guy up is ready to go. So uh, I think, though, the, the, the culture in that room is strong. Um, they support each other. They coach each other. Uh, when, some, when one of them doesn't do something right, you can hear it a lot of times before it even comes out of my mouth, the coaching point that needs to be corrected. So uh, I think the, they've been very supportive um, of it, and, uh, but they're not going to, the, the guys that are not the starters uh, are not going to sit by uh, idly and uh, just let it continuously slip away the rest of the season as well. Drew, the experience you have up front, a four offensive linemen that are returning, how much does that help you to do everything that you want to do? I think game experience from the offensive line is critical. You know, there's not very many offensive linemen in the country that play as true freshmen, you know, getting their, uh, uh, taking the green out of them and uh, giving them some experience is always helpful. They've played a lot of football. They've seen a lot of fronts. They've seen a lot of blitzes. Um, they're not going to be phased the same way that a, a true freshman will by all the bright lights and the loud noises that come along with game day, especially in a, in a big stadium uh, with a big opponent. So uh, it, it's been great. Uh, I couldn't be more uh, excited to have experience uh, on the offensive line. We've moved some guys around, uh, and they've done a, a great job adapting to what we're trying to do. I thought their last two weeks of fall camp uh, was tremendous uh, and that the, the improvement that happened there, uh, and credit to uh, Chris Muller and uh, Derek Nelson for helping lead those to that group. Uh, they've done a really, really nice job of getting themselves uh, almost to game ready. Drew, to sort of go off that, um, what have you guys seen from Demon or right tackle to name him as a starter? I guess he and he were kind of battling it out at the start of camp, and and just the line as a whole, um, how they sort of you know adjusted to what you want to do offensively, just tempo wise. What you know strides have you seen over the last few months? These guys kind of getting their bodies in shape, I and mean, you kind of feel like they're getting to a point where they're ready to, you know, get going um, in the game. Obviously, the conditioning aspect is is something for an O lineman that's not always the most fun part of what they do. Um, but uh, they've done a really nice job. And if you look at the before and after pictures uh, coming into Coach Parker's weight room and then coming out of them, uh, it's tremendous what those guys have done. Um, Credit to uh, Coach Parker and uh, Allison Kramer, our nutritionist in her department. They've done a fantastic job of reshaping those guys' bodies, um, both from a, a body fat percentage, but also strength numbers, um, speed, and obviously overall conditioning. Um, with JJ specifically, JJ has done a nice job, I thought, being uh, – like I talked about with Chris, being just being consistent. We, we didn't ask him. To, we're not asking any of these guys to be Superman. Uh, we're just asking them to be consistent, know and understand the schemes and the concepts, see what you uh, what we're playing or see what we're playing, and uh, and then react. And so uh, he's done a nice job. Zach's done a great job as well. Zach's not going. Zach isn't going by the wayside by any stretch of the imagination either. Uh, Zach's right there in the mix. Uh, Zach is a very intelligent kid. Um, that plays uh, very, very hard, uh, and a kid I think that's going to help us uh, this season a lot. So um, there's kind of two questions there, so hopefully I, I answered both of those for you. Uh, Drew, just to, I know it's tough when you're looking at last year's uh, tape, but uh, what, what impresses you about Washington from what you've seen? Washington's a, a very talented football team. Um, it, Coach Peterson and their staff have done a great job putting those guys in the right position to be successful. Um, you know, you like their two interior guys that are coming back on the on the defensive front are both impressive players, uh, and they have a very talented secondary. Uh, they both the the two defensive ends are going to be new this year. So, uh, but the two backups that they had this past year uh, were also good players. The linebackers can run around uh, and make some tackles. So, um, they're they're a good defense, well coached defense. Uh, we have our we definitely have our work cut out for us. Um, they're not going to. Uh, give us an inch by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, it's going to be an exciting game. Uh, definitely a fun one for us to go and play. Justin Goodwin, what has he done to kind of earn your, earn your trust? Justin Goodwin has showed up every day. You know, the thing that we talked about with Goody, uh, Goody has uh, – Goody's a great kid. He's a lot of fun to be around. Um, we asked him, though, at the end of spring, are you just a nice guy? 
is that all you are? Are you just a nice guy? And, uh, you know, he kind of was like, no, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tough football player. And I was like, we got to see that. We got to see that. And Goody came out and played really physical this fall camp. Um, as, a, as an intelligent kid that understands exactly what we're doing, when the defensive front changes, when the blitzes change, uh, he reacts. Um, and uh, it fits right in with the offensive line protection wise. So uh, he's done a tremendous job. Uh, I have no hesitation when he goes into the game uh, at all uh, because I believe in that kid and uh, the amount of work that he's put in. All set. Thanks, Thank you guys.